Well, this is my wood splitter. Sad uh, news here, but I just started ripping it apart because the cylinder uh, had quite a little um, disaster. The uh, gland in the piston kind of the threads got stripped and made a mess and then started leaking all over the place. So I bought a new cylinder and of course I didn't replace it with the same one. So I've got to make some modifications to the wood splitter. So I've cut one wing off. I've got to continue to cut the second wing off back here. And then uh, see if we can put this thing back together. I had to literally uh, grind everything right off with a cutting wheel. But uh, the good news is, I've got a good helper here. His name's Gavin. Thank you, Gavin. Can you say hi to everybody on YouTube? Hi. Yeah. This is the old piston here. And this is uh, the old inlet. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Those threads are pretty bunged up. So I had to take the old Prince piston off and I found a good deal at surplus center on this uh, three and a half inch piston and really hoping it'll work for me. We'll see pretty soon. I hooked the hydraulic lines up and gave it a quick little test run but it's hard to really tell right now whether or not this will work and serve the purpose that I need but this wood splitter I bought second hand and uh, for 500 bucks and I've replaced the filter system, uh, the detent valve, all the hoses, the power supply I picked up, Harbor Freight 6.5 horsepower for 120 bucks, 130 bucks. The only thing that I haven't replaced at this point is this pump and I'm sure that'll be next year or a couple years from now. <laughs> and then I'll have a totally rebuilt wood splitter. Yes, it's... Always fun doing things the hard way, so. But it'll be a good working wood splitter, and I'll know what I'll have after it's all done and completed. I uh, still got the original tank. And that's it, and I'll keep you posted as progress continues. Thank you, and have a great day.